Hey everyone, I recently posted a video about the double hammerhead. There's a link right here. And how gyroscopic precession is what makes it possible. I got a lot of messages that some of you really like the kitchen science segment of that video with the cardboard airplane and toy gyroscope stuck on the front and asked me to post just that part which shows how the flight controls affect precession, which affects attitude. So here you go. Let's do some kitchen science. I've got a little model of my pit special made of cardboard hanging with a gyroscope on the front, just like the one you played with when you were a kid. And I've set it up so that the rotor part is turning in the same direction clockwise as viewed from the pilot seat, just like in your airplane. Now the gyroscope's not turning right now. And notice I can just give a little push on the tail of this thing and it spins right around. No problem. No rigidity in space, it's free to turn, just hanging on this piece of string. All right, let's start the gyroscope. All right, I'm just gonna attach the motor to the gyroscope and power it up. Can you hear that? Kinda of sounds like a jet engine coming up to speed, doesn't it? The gyroscope's running and let's check for gyroscopic rigidity in space. So notice I can push on it. The airplane doesn't really want to move. Look at that, I'm pushing on the tail. Doesn't want to change direction. I'm gonna pretend I'm pushing stick forward, elevator goes down. See that nose move to the left? Now what happens if I pull stick back, elevator goes up, nose moves to the right. Now what about left rudder? Notice the nose goes up. What about right rudder? Nose, nose goes down. 